Morning YouTube, this is your boy Arthur here from Bama Vet Fishing and today I'm going to go over one of the rigs that I like to use when I'm dragging or bumping for catfish on the bottom and any type of uh, body of water, small lake, river, reservoir, wherever it may be using our uh, cut bait. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can see any videos that may upload in the future and leave any comments or any improvements that I can do to this rig and uh, yeah, so let's do it. All right, so let's dive into it. So right I got here in front of you guys right now, I got a one ounce sinker. You can use uh, egg sinker or bank sinker, whatever you may use. Um, you can use any ounce lead from one ounce to, a, a, I've used all the way up to like a six ounce at one point when I was fishing off a of Bagno Dam. Right here, I have a three-way swivel. You can get these three-way swivels from uh, Amazon.com or Walmart, whatever you like to fish at or buy your fish supplies at. Right here, I have a, I think a five or six odd circle hook, and it's an offset circle hook. You get a lot more hookup ratios when you're using that offset circle hook. Right here, I'm using a 50 pound mono, which I got from Walmart. And then here I have a 20 pound mono that I use for my uh, my weighted line and my bottom line coming off my T-rig on my three-way swivel. All right, here, my rod, I haven't spooled my reel and rod, I haven't spooled up with a 30-pound braid. And I like to use braid a lot because it's uh, abrasive resistant and it helps out when you're getting snagged or anything like that. So you would, first thing you want to do, you want to check your line, make sure you don't have any cuts and nicks in your braid, which I have one right there that I'm just going to clip off. And mind you, I'm using a uh, pair of nail clippers. All right, so you want to throw it away. So, when you're looking at your T-swivel, your main line is going to connect to you the top of your T-swivel. And most times, I like to use either a Palomar knot or a Uni knot, which today I'm just going to use a Palomar knot. And you take it through, double it. Tie your overhand, bring the line through, and then bring the swivel through. Boom. Too easy, right? And I'll clean it up, dress it up later. So, the middle one. The middle uh, eyelet of your swivel is what I like to put my hook at, all right? So, based on what type of structures around, uh, what type of covers around, depends on my leader a lot of times. But standard size leader, I like to use about 12 to 14 inches of leader. So, once you get your leader... So from here, I use what we call a snail knot or no or a knotless knot. So a snail knot or knotless knot. So first step, you want to take the mono through the uh, top of the eyelet. You want to put it in about approximately one inch, and then you're gonna wrap approximately seven to ten times to get a good wrap. So start wrapping away from your body towards the eyelet, and you're just gonna wrap around one, two, three. Four, five, six, and seven. And I give one more. All right. You're going to take the uh, now running end of the uh, the mono. You're going to go from the back of the eyelet to the front of the eyelet. And you're just going to cinch it down. There you go. Boom. So the reason you do the uh, snail knot this way. So when, let's say the fish is uh, grabbing it with your bait. As a fish grab it the hook is going to create like a trigger effect to where that hook is going to catch into the corner of the fish's mouth and you get a better hookup ratio that way and that's another reason why i like to use the offset uh circle hook and i forgot to tell you guys i think this is about a five or six uh, uh, circle hook that i'm using offset eye hook and from here 
What I like to do, I like to tie just a regular over, uh, double overhand knot for the uh, tail end. I just like to tie a regular double overhand knot, leaving about maybe eighth of an inch to half an inch of tail. And from here, I take my loop and I go through the loop of the eyelet. Then I take my hook and then I go through the loop of the mono. Some of you guys might like to tie a better knot than that, but this is the one that I use and I haven't had it fail me yet. Well, there you go. So now, on the bottom side of my uh, three-way swivel, I like to use a three to four foot leader. So what I normally do, I measure it from my chest to my hand, and then I'll cut my bottom leader that's going down to my weight. All right, so some people I've seen, they use swivels to connect the weight so they can do like a quick release for the weight. But me, same thing as my hook. I like to do a double overhand knot, creating a loop in my line. And then I leave a noticeable bigger loop so I can uh, change out my weight if needed. Say the current is moving kind of fast and my uh, bait and my weight is not hitting the bottom. And I can just undo my uh, lead and then change it out. And then I do the same thing up top. Do a double overhand knot. creating a loop with about a one inch tag same thing go through the eyelet and then I bring my weight and the remainder of my line through the eyelet all right and there you go you got your three-way swivel and I use it a lot when I'm out uh, dragging or bumping the bottom and it helps keep your weight out of the debris and out of the, uh, anything that may be that may be in the, uh, on the bottom. Oh, another reason why I use this uh, lighter line versus my 50 pound mono. So let's say I'm bumping the bottom and my weight gets hung in a tree or any type of debris like that. I use this lighter line to where my boat or my kayak, if I'm drifting or I can pull and I can easily break this uh, 10 to 20 pound mono off and all I lose is my weight versus losing my entire rig. So that's why I use a lighter line on the bottom and then I use a heavier line coming off of my uh, my swivel to my hook. So there you have it guys. This is what I use when I'm uh, dragging the bump in the bottom. One more thing I forgot to go with you guys. I know you probably noticed that I'm using a saltwater uh, rod. And this is one of, the rod, one of my favorite rods. It's the Blair Wiggins uh, Signature Series rod, the Inshore Slam. And it's a medium fast, uh, seven foot six. Uh, and I have it paired up with a, a Aura 40S or S40 with a 30 pound braid on it. And I love this combination. Like this thing is really smooth. It's made for saltwater fishing. So it can handle a lot of those big uh, catfish or white bass or striper that I might be catching on that day when I'm dragging a bumper with live shad or uh, cut bait. And this is a really nice, um, nice combo. I've taken it to Florida to visit my fiance's family and it worked just fine fishing off the piers and docks around the uh, Tampa, Florida area. So yeah, leave any comments or anything you think I can do to improve this rig or any rigs you'd like to see me try in the near future. And once again, it's your boy Arthur here, Bama Vet Fishing, and we're out.